ever studied mitosis or meiosis, chances are the whole chromosome number thing, it's crossed your mind. I mean, how do you start out with a cell that has 46 chromosomes, and then it does mitosis, and then you end with two cells that each have 46 chromosomes? Or in meiosis, you end up with four cells that each have 23 chromosomes. It's like, here's a chromosome, there's a chromosome everywhere, a chromosome, chromosome, but how? Well, this video is going to explain the chromosome numbers in these processes, but please watch our mitosis and meiosis video first so that you can understand the actual process first. And also, our video is talking about chromosome numbers in human cells, so please assume that for the entire video. And just a reminder, human body cells have 46 chromosomes, and human sex cells, also called gametes, they have 23 chromosomes. Now, chromosomes, as you know, they're made up of DNA and protein. The DNA is highly condensed, tightly wound. That's really important because it means that when the cells divide and they have to move that DNA over, it's easy to do that when the DNA has condensed into chromosomes. It makes DNA so portable and organized, which is great in processes like mitosis and meiosis because when you make new cells, you also have to get the DNA into those cells. This is a chromosome. This is also a chromosome. The difference is that the first one only had one chromatid, or copy, and the second one has two chromatids, or copies. The area in the middle of the chromosomes, this is called a centromere, and the centromere is where the spindle's going to attach. And that's kind of a big deal because that's how you're going to move the chromosomes during any division process. Now generally, when you count chromosomes, you can count them by the number of centromeres present. Now, interphase is a step that happens one time before mitosis and meiosis can start. And in interphase, this is where we duplicate the chromosomes. So first we start with 46 of these chromosomes, which is how many chromosomes are found in human body cells. And as you can see in our little picture, they kind of look like little sticks. But after duplicating in interphase, we still have 46 chromosomes technically, but they have two chromatids. We call them sister chromatids, and they're held together at one centromere. See, as long as those chromatids are still attached at the centromere, we still count 46 chromosomes, but they're duplicated. And if they weren't attached like this, I mean, technically, you could say there were 92 chromosomes. But right now in this picture, there are 46 chromosomes and 92 chromatids. Here's a little chart here, because I love charts. So is there a time in mitosis when there are 92 chromosomes? Well, technically, you could argue that at anaphase, when the sister chromatids are separating and they're no longer attached, you could see in this picture there could be 92 chromosomes because they're not attached during that one phase. And that's why our chart has a little asterisk here. Although we still usually refer to them as chromatids during this process of cell division. So at the end of mitosis, those chromatids separate and you end up with two cells after mitosis that each have 46 chromosomes. Those chromosomes kind of look like little sticks in this picture. The two daughter cells, if you look, are identical to the starting cell in mitosis. Now let's take a look at meiosis. We have 46 chromosomes in the starting cell, and right now they each have one chromatid, just like with mitosis. And they duplicated interphase, and we still have 46 chromosomes now, and there are 92 sister chromatids, just like we started with in mitosis. But at the end of meiosis one, you have two daughter cells, and they each contain 23 chromosomes with 46 chromatids. At the end of meiosis two, you have four cells that each have 23 chromosomes, 23 chromatids. Just a reminder that in mitosis, the resulting two cells are identical. So they have the same number of chromosomes as the original cell. So the two daughter cells after mitosis have 46 chromosomes and they're identical. But in meiosis, it's a reduction division. The four daughter cells, they have have the amount of chromosomes as the original cell. 
That's why each daughter cell after meiosis has 23 chromosomes. So we hope that clears it up a little bit for you. Now just remember that chromosome counting, it has a lot to do with the way we count chromosomes and this definition of chromatid. Well, that's it for the Amoeba Sisters, and we remind you to stay curious. Thank you.